generally speaking, you need most of the time some kind of lighting for micro photography. Micro photography, micro lenses generate a very shallow depth of field, super shallow depth of field. In fact, to counteract that, you need to close the aperture down and reduce the amount of light getting through the lens to get images sharper throughout. And that requires more lighting. There are a lot of uh, budget LED uh, options available like these, but these are not really suitable and much harder to direct and pinpoint on something very small when getting super close to your subject when shooting macro. In this video, I am talking about these truly magical lights from Adaptolux designed specifically for macro photography. So to find out more about them, how they work, and if they are something that you might need, keep watching, don't skip, and hopefully I'll answer all of your questions in, in this video. Adaptolux is an independent British brand and they specialize and create dedicated macro photography modular lighting systems and they really have caught my attention. There's literally nothing like it on the market and if you ever dabbled in macro photography you'd know that something like this could be simply a game changer and it is. These lights come in a different sets and you can customize them the sets to depending on what you need. I have a macro photography LED combo pack sci-fi. This is pre-made pack containing uh, containing two white and one red, one blue continuous LED lights plus some diffusers as well. But this system is modular and you can not only build the pack, customize the set that you need, but also buy extra components, any of those or extra ones uh, later on. So what is so special about it for macro photography? These lights are bright and you can easily direct them and focus them on your small subject. They are also super easy to set up and use. What you have is the, the base unit, the control port. This has simple five sockets to attach the five lights to and these are magnetic. No need to do anything but simply place them in and give them a little twist and they are connected. There's no on switch, they just come on as soon as you connect the light arm to the control port. You pull them out just as easily to turn them and the whole system off. Brightness of each light can be adjusted by the dial on top. Simple one press, the light starts flashing. You turn the dial to make it go brighter or darker. Press again to save and move on to the next connected light. That easy, but so 20th century. There's a free app available to control the whole thing quickly and easily with. I had no problems connecting it to it and it works every every single time. Through the app you can select which light you want to adjust the brightness of and do so with a with a slider. Extra feature accessible via the control port by pressing the dial and holding it for three seconds or simply via the app is the power boost. This is when you have to close aperture down as much as possible or to capture maybe insects that are moving with faster shooter speeds. It gives you the little bit extra brightness, a bit more than the max standard setting, but it uses more battery power. Each light can also be focused by a screw on lens. It can go from wide to a very narrow beam uh, by just unscrewing this end attachment. You also have magnetic snap-on diffusers and in this sci-fi pack you get three white ones and a green one and the purple one to get that sci-fi look if you if you want to. And these attach magnetically if you if you, if you want to use them. The whole thing is battery powered and the battery lasts up to 12 hours depending on the usage and can be charged up via USB-C. You need some kind of little tripod to attach the control port to or, or you can buy attachment to put it on top of the camera to put it on top of the camera. The tripod needs to be sturdy enough to support these long arms as they make it a little bit uh, one side heavy. There is literally limitless amount of setups you can do with it. As the arms are very flexible, you can do front and back lighting, add color and add something special to your macro photos, but also make the macro photography more fun and a little bit easier to achieve the results that you want. I do have few macro lenses that I simply do not use very often because it is so much hassle to get the lighting right and get less shallow depth of field using just natural light. This kit simply changes that. Using it in conjunction with daylight expands possibilities of macro lenses hugely. It also lets you to be more creative by using different light beams and colors. Yes, you can go and do a focus stacking, but this is even more hassle than lighting it up. This helps and this simplifies and helps to do it quicker. The price, it's not cheap, but if you are serious about macro photography and you want to get the most out of your macro lens, I'd say it is must have and a game 
change. The price is very depending on the size of your kit, of the whole kit and all the modules that you need. But something like this, this sci-fi pack retails for about 350 pounds or 380 dollars. But you can go basic and build up your setup gradually. It is a modular system after all. So yeah, you could just buy the, the control port and one arm to start with and then build up gradually. There are lots of accessories available for it too, like micro subject holders, mini tripods and more. This is a continuous light system, but there's also flashlights available and even you UV photography kits. It is certainly not a spur of the moment purchase and it should not be. This is a great tool, supporting tool to your macro lens and one that can really massively enhance your macro photography. I'm really wowed by how useful and easy to use it is. If you have a macro lens or are thinking of getting into macro photography, you should certainly check it out. Highly recommend it. And this is it from me. I hope this video was informative or at least entertaining. If it was, please give me the thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, consider subscribing and thank you for watching. See you next time. This is what, this is what, this is when you have to close aperture down. There's literally limitless amount of setups you can do with it as the arms are very flexible. It also lets you do be, it, do, do, be, do, be, do be, it also lets you, it also lets you to be